WGMD and others rallied for offshore oil drilling in Georgetown, Delaware on Saturday, August the 2nd. Afternoon host Bill Colley was the host of the event. The petition, which hundreds of people signed, reads, We, the undersigned, demand members of the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate lift the congressional ban on offshore drilling, allowing exploration and extraction of petroleum and natural gas resources. We also demand members of these houses commence authorization for drilling for petroleum at the Alaska National Wildlife life refuge. We demand those elected to represent us pursue extraction of Colorado oil shale. We demand that Montana coal be harvested for conversion to synthetic diesel fuel. We demand for national security and the futures of our children these options be pursued as the bridge to development of alternative sources. We demand these issues be pursued without excuses. <laughs> This is a great idea, uh, and Bill should be commended for doing this. I, I called this morning to support what he was saying because about two years ago, the federal government did a look at what uh, would happen if we took 5% of the energy oil supply out of the uh, chain, and they predicted within 90 days, oil supplies, the 5% reduction would double oil prices. Well, guess what? That has almost come to fruition. So we need more of everything. We need to drill more, more conservation, more renewables, more alternatives, more of everything. But the solution right now is to drill more. The outer continental shelf is available. It is, it's pure simple denial to say we can't do this. Uh, there's stuff in Colorado, even across the Canadian border. This is the stuff we should be giving incentives for to, to address the supply issues now. And for somebody to say otherwise, they're really putting their head in the sand. And remember, while you're paying four bucks at the pump today, your congressmen and senators are on vacation. So that's why I'm here. And I think I know who this is, because he told me he'd be uh, riding his 1971 bicycle over here. Hi, David, how are you? Nice nice to meet you, Mr. Colley. I, I, can, I can shake in a moment. I, I'm holding the microphone and you, you, the sign you brought by. This is impressive. Absolutely. Do you, you know the inspiration I got from that? When my son called me from Glen Burnie, Maryland uh, the other day, he told me that his boss distribute his, the owner of the company, and it's a construction company, they distributed bumper stickers that say, drill now, pay less. And that's the slogan that I've been to use. So now, you know, our next step will be to build some refineries. And, uh, you know, it's time we urge our congressional delegation. People are, people are upset paying $4 a gallon gas heating oil. Uh, you know, it's really tough on our farmers right now. They depend on diesel fuel for the tractors and their irrigations. Uh, and, you know, we've had a little bit of rain, uh, more rain this year than we did last year. But, you know, I know some farmers that every, like a 12-hour run of their irrigation is $1,500. And that's something that, you know, people should also remember. And if people don't think about just the, what business, what it needs to run on. In your farmer business, the, uh, the diesel, I assume, was probably what powered your trucks. And uh, the cost of just truck drivers calling me independents. Uh, filling up for 1200 bucks or so right now it's got, it's got to be a killer it's got to be killer and, it, and it's across the board uh you know charter boats charter the charter boat business is a huge business here in Suffolk county and some of those guys were booked solid the last two seasons and i've talked to a few of them that are maybe taking one trip a week out and, you know it's hard to make a boat payment uh, on a charter boat when you're only taking one trip a you know a week out because of the price of diesel fuel and with the economy you know people you know they they just can't afford to pay those uh, kind of prices and if you miss the opportunity to sign today and you're in the Georgetown area, my law office is one block away. I'm going to take a blank, top, blank one of the petition and you can sign it during work hours at my law office. Amen. In 10 East Pine Street during the next week and I'll get them back to you. It's a right thing to do. And I am disappointed that Congress did not address it. I agree with the President on his uh, speech today, the radio update, and it's something we have to address. We have to look at all these resources that are available within our control because it, we cannot be continue to be subject to somebody else's control. Amen. Amen. Have you signed yet? Yes, I've signed. Keep up the good work and good luck for the rest of the day. Hey, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, we had the long-out right here. 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 Oh, yeah, we had the long-out right